Hey class, hi, hello, namaste, adavas, jakal, assalamualaikum, manakam, and hamma gani to all of you. How is everyone doing? Hello class, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hi Meghna. Hi Suhani, hello Shubhangi. Anime artist Rakesh, Prithvika, Vedant, Ayush, Sijuka, Rakesh, Krish. What is that? Garda gang. Khushi, Prasun. Durga, Gaurav, Dhirendra, Pragya Gupta, Ashi, Shubhangi, Jyotiraditya, Durva, Surendra. Bacho, welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you. Achha, one more thing before we start the session, I would like all of you to share the video with your friends so that all the other students can also join us. If there are more students, then you will also get to know your competition. When the competition will increase, you will get to know where do you stand, how many questions are doing correct. So quickly share this video among all your friends. Let tell them also to join the session quickly. You can share the video quickly. It won't take much time. Quickly share the video with all your friends right now so that they can also join us. Hello, hello Gaurav. Jaldi se, so that many students can join. As many students we can have. It would be better for the quiz part. So as you all know, this is ICSC grade, grade 10 and it is complete syllabus. Okay, complete syllabus menti quiz. And uh, so it will be mixed of all the topics. All the topics are mixed over here. Okay, so we'll be doing the complete syllabus quiz. Hello, Bacho. Love you all. I am from Rajasthan. Good afternoon. Durodhara. Good afternoon. Hello, Anubhav. Hi, Aryan. Durva. When is your birthday, sir? 14th of May. All, all will be revised better. Don't worry. We'll be revising all the topics. Don't worry. Hello Jyotira Ditya, thank you so much, thank you so much, bacho. Okay, Chalo. so let me show you the code for the Menti and the code for Menti today is 704208. The code for Menti today is 704208. Okay, so what you need to do if you are new here and if you don't know how you can go for this part, what you need to do is you need to go to the website www.menti.com. Just go to this link www menti.com use the code 704208 be quick 704208 all the students are quickly join this where from Rajasthan Pali quickly Hello, hello, Surendra Beta. All the all clear from my side. Nothing, nothing, nothing problem. No problem over here. Yes, quickly. I want all of you to join the session. Jaldi se aajao, sare bache. Complete syllabus, menti quiz. It is complete syllabus. Are wa, very good, very good. Many have joined. Hi, Aditya. Very good, very good. Many students have joined quickly. Jaldi se aajao sare. <laughs> menti code beta, menti code is written at the top. 704208. The code for menti is 704208. Jaldi se aajao sare bache. Quiz not open. So let's open the quiz. See, the quiz is working. Many students, around 60 students have joined it. Around 60 students have joined it. Achha, jalo, let's start now. You can join now. Okay. If there is some problem from your side, you can join it now. The first question, a fair die is thrown once. 
probability of getting an even prime number be quick be quick probability of getting an even prime number be quick Three, two, one, and the time is over. So we have got the correct answer from thirty-four students. That is one by six. Okay, now see how it will be done. By simple thing, beta. Out of all the entries, by on a dice, the possible, all the possible outcomes, the possible outcomes we have are one to six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And out of those, the favorable outcomes. what are the favorable outcomes we want an even prime number now the prime number in these outcomes are 2 3 and 5 and out of those there is only one prime number which is even that is 2 so i can say the probability will be equal to one entry out of 6 so option a will be your correct answer there is only one entry out of or there is only one outcome which is favorable to us out of six outcomes so 1 by 6 will be your correct answer okay let's go for the leaderboard now so in the leaderboard who do we have let's see let's see now see i want you all to be very quick very quickly okay these are all the questions all over your syllabus let's see so thomas bell vroom allen pune pranav ribit shami bran watson dr centipede and lola okay thomas is the first student to give the correct answer let's go for the next question question number 2 coming to your way is this let's see be quick in your answers be quick what does i in igst stands for yaad hai i in igst what does i in igst stands for the more quickly you will answer the more points you are going to get also quick as well as correct you need to be quick as well as correct ए वॉट नहीं मालूम सर आई हैव टॉट यू यार इन जी एस टी आई हैव टॉट यू थ्री टू वन एंड द टाइम इज ओवर सो करेक्ट आंसर इज इंटीग्रेटेड रिमेंबर सी जी एस टी इज सेंट्रल जी एस टी एस जी एस टी इज स्टेट जी एस टी आई जी एस टी इज वेन द ट्रेड इज हैपनिंग बिटवीन द स्टेट सो इन दैट केस वी अप्लाई आई जी एस टी दैट इज इंटीग्रेटेड जी एस टी right so i stands for integrated got it let's go for the next question question number 3 but before that let's look at the leaderboard so who do we have over here we have prabhav divesh ujjaini varsha morya aditi piyush feluda ashley and shreshta okay these are the students who have given the correct answer let's go for the next question question number 3 coming to your way is this quickly welcome welcome to all the new students as well cos theta plus sin theta whole square plus cos theta minus sin theta whole square is equal to what this value is equal to be quick Twenty seconds more. Last fifteen seconds. Last ten seconds now. Last ten seconds. Last ten seconds. Be quick. Be quick. The time is about to get over in five, four, three, two, one, and the time is up. So the correct answer. Now see, this is a question which all of you must have seen one or the other way. We have done this question as well. Simple. We need to use the formula for a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square. So cos theta plus sine theta whole square, a plus b whole square will become a square plus b square plus two ab. Then plus a minus b whole square. So a square plus b square minus two. 
ए बी राइट नाउ इन दिस पार्ट आई कैन से दिस प्लस टू कॉस्टा साइन सीटा गॉट कैंसिल विद टू कॉस्टा साइन सीटा वी आर लेफ्ट विद टू कॉस स्क्वायर थीटा प्लस टू साइन स्क्वायर थीटा टेक टू कॉमन You are left with cos square theta plus sine square theta, and cos square theta plus sine square theta is a very good identity. We know it is equal to one, so two into one, which is equal to two. So option D will be your correct answer, right? Option D will be your correct answer. Got it? Let's go for the leaderboard now. So after this question, who do we have? We have. बी वेरी क्विक देखो वन स्मॉल मिस्टेक एंड एवरीथिंग कैन गो अप एंड डाउन सो बी वेरी केयरफुल सो फेलिदा फेलुदा प्रियु पीयूष ऋषिका आशना बंसारी देव आयुष आयुष कुमार वन इज आयुष कुमार आरुष प्रभव एंड दिवेश ठीक है दिस इज द लीडर बोर्ड राइट नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर सी दीज आर ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर जस्ट चेकिंग योर नॉलेज क्विकली ओके लेट्स गो फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज दिस बेटा दुर्वा द टाइम इज नॉट लेस यूनिट बी बिट क्विक ठीक है एक्स बिलोंग्स टू दिस सोल्यूशन सेट ऑफ द इन इक्वेशन थ्री एक्स माइनस टू विच इज लेस देन और इक्वल टू एट वॉट विल बी द सोल्यूशन सेट सोच समझ के आंसर करो क्विकली वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन विद इन थर्टी सेकेंड यू कैन सॉल्व इट वेरी इजिली Yes, be quick. Be quick. Last ten seconds. Last ten seconds. Six, five, four, three. Two, one, and the time is over. Okay, so we have got the correct answer from thirty-four students. So this is your in equation part, right? Now the in equation we have is three x minus two is less than or equal to eight. So what we will be getting three x shift minus two over there is less than or equal to ten. So x is less than or equal to ten by three. That means the value of x should be less than three point. Three three. Okay, this is the value with which the value of x should be less than or equal to this. Now in our solution set, okay, in our replacement set, you will see which are the values which are less than or equal to three point three three. So minus values will be accepted. Zero is also accepted. One will be there. Three will be there. Only thing five will not be in the solution set. So my answer will be option B. My answer will be option B minus three minus one zero and one and three because I need to find out my solution from the replacement set. Whatever the values of x which are possible, out of those I need to see my solution. My solution will be option B, right? Is it clear? So option B will be your correct answer. Let's go for the leaderboard now. So after this question, who do we have in the leaderboard? So we have. Oh my God! All have given correct answer. Let's see. So this time it is going to be very awesome. So Feluda, Piyush, Rishika, Dev, Aditi, Manan, Ayush, Nishit, Nicholas, and Rudraksh. Nicholas is the first student to give the correct answer. Let's go for your question number five. Question number five coming to your way is this. Let's see. In the figure, O is the center of the circle. AB is a chord and AT is a tangent at A. If angle AOB is 100 degree, then angle BAT. These kind of questions. See, the time you might be thinking it is less, but these kind of questions you have already practiced in your books. These are the questions we have already practiced. Okay, so you need to think about it very quickly. The theorems which we are going to use over here is the radius at the point of contact is perpendicular to the tangent. Okay. I have given you the hint. The radius at the point of contact is going to be perpendicular to the tangent. This is the theorem which will be used over here. The CBSE students also some of this question will be applicable for you as well. Uh, some of the questions will be applicable for you. For example, in equation or GST, those you might not be knowing, but the, all the other questions you can solve. So yes, CBSE students can also join the part just to have the idea for the quiz, and they can. just utilize this time be quick 3 2 1 and the time is over 
so we have got the correct answer as 50 degree now see as i was telling you bhai beta see i know one thing radius at the point of contact is perpendicular to the tangent so i can say oa will be perpendicular to at this angle will be 90 degree okay now they have given angle aob as 100 degrees okay sir if aob is 100 degrees beta i know one thing that sir in triangle aob in triangle aob we know ao is equal to bo because both are equal to radius ao is equal to bo because both are equal to radius so if ao is equal to bo i can say angle oab is equal to angle oba both should be equal let us say both are equal to x degrees so this angle is x degrees this angle is also equal to x degrees so now i can say using angle sum property of a triangle 100 degree plus x plus x is equal to 180 degree so you will get 2x is equal to 80 degrees that means x is equal to 40 degree right so we know angle oab and oba as 40 and 40 degree but my question is asking me angle bat so i can say that sir angle oab plus angle bat is equal to 180 degrees right both of them will be equal to 180 degrees angle oab is equal to 40 degree plus angle bat we don't know is equal to, sorry i have written it wrong not 180 it is 90 adjacent angles not 180 it is 90 it will be adjacent angles so let's make it equal to 90 degree it will be adjacent angles so it is equal to 90 degree so angle bat will be equal to 90 minus 40 which is equal to 50 degrees so option c will be your correct answer got it this is how you going you you will be writing in your exam paper this is how you are going to write your answer in your exam paper okay here you will write the reason as well radius at point of contact is perpendicular to tangent okay this is how your reason will be here radius at point of contact is perpendicular to tangent okay here also you can write isosceles triangle theorem all the reasons you need to write got it this is how you need to solve your question and you will get perfect marks right you are going to get your perfect marks so option c that is 50 degree is your correct answer let's go for the next question but let's look at the leaderboard once so after this question what does the leaderboard tells so now onwards will be i'll be showing you the question i'll be showing you the leaderboard after two questions we'll solve two questions then we'll go for the leaderboard okay so we have feluda piyush dev manan nishit rudraksh nicolas vivek vedant and rishika okay and feluda is the first student to give the correct answer very good very close competition is going now anything can happen at any point of time so be very careful okay the next question coming to your way is this question number 6 is this what is the question saying two numbers are in the ratio 7 is to 9 if the sum of the numbers is 288 then what is the smaller number if sum of some of the numbers is 288 then what is the smaller number be quick be quick 6 5 4 3 2 1 and the time is over so we have got the correct answer from the following students 36 students who have given the correct answer देखो बेटा भाई इट इज सिंपल क्वेश्चन ऑफ योर रेशियो एंड प्रोपोर्शन दे हैव गिवन टू नंबर्स आर इन द रेशियो 7:9 सो लेट्स से टू नंबर्स आर ए एंड बी ए एंड बी आर इन द रेशियो 7:9 राइट दे वांट अस टू फाइंड आउट द स्मॉलर नंबर दैट इज व्हाट इज ए आउट ऑफ दिस 
the ratio whatever number holds the smaller ratio that number will be smaller they are asking what is a where they have given a plus b is equal to 288 a plus b is equal to 288 so i can say the same ratio will be a upon if i do a plus b same thing i will do over here 7 upon add the ratio 7 plus 9 yes so a upon a plus b we know is 288 is equal to 7 upon 7 plus 9 is 16 so a is equal to 7 upon 16 into 288 right correct so it will be equal to 16 9 side is i think 16 18 times okay 16 ones are 4 plus 8 12 128 huh. so 18 sevens are 126 so option a will be your correct answer okay clear hai? very easy question okay simple ratio and proportion problem simple ratio and proportion problem okay Chalo, let's go for the next question now the next question coming to your way question number seven is this what is this question saying the question is telling us one zero of the quadratic polynomial x square plus 3x plus k is 2 then the value of k is what will be the value of k Last 10 seconds, last 10 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and the time is over. Okay, so we have got the correct answer, very good. Dekho, it's a very easy question if you will see, they have already given that 2 is a 0 of this polynomial. That means, suppose if my polynomial is x square plus 3x plus k, then I know if 2 is a 0 of this polynomial, value of this polynomial at x equal to 2 will be equal to 0. So x square plus 3x plus k if at x equal to 2. So put x as 2. So you will get 2 square plus, sorry, 2 square plus 3 into 2 plus k is equal to 0. 4 plus 6 plus k equal to 0. So k is equal to minus 10. So many students made the mistake, I think with the positive and negative sign. So don't do that mistake. See, I can see eight students have made this mistake. Many students gave me uh, option C as well. I don't know from where you have got the option C. Maybe your calculation you have not done correct. Okay. So option B will be your correct answer. Okay. Option B is your correct answer. Let's look at the leaderboard after this question. So we have, who do we have over here? We have. Piyush, Dev, Feluda, Vivek, Vedant, Bansari, Manan, Nishit, Rudraksh and Jeeves. You can clearly see the leaderboard is keep shifting up and down, up and down. So it is very important okay, that you be in the quiz at the end. You don't know what can be a result. We can never predict who is going to be the winner for this quiz. Okay, So be very careful. Now let's go for the next question. The next question, question number 8 coming to your way is this. Let's see. The question is, if the sum of three numbers in an AP is 9 and their product is 24, then the numbers are, and now it's a good question. Three numbers in an AP, sum of sum is 9, product is 24, we have solved this question. It is a very uh, important type of question in the topic AP, which is being asked many times. Three numbers cases is the easiest part. I have told you the numbers which we are going to take in this order will be A minus D a and a plus d we will assume the three numbers to be a minus d a and a plus d and then we will solve it further quickly Be quick, 3, 2, 1 and the time is over. The correct answer is option 
D. Now see, I would tell you, it's all about solution we will do. But you can easily get the idea. Sum should be 9. So they go 2 plus 4 plus 5, sum is not 9. 1 plus 5 plus 3, sum is 9. 2 plus 8 plus 4, sum is not 9. So A and C can never be the answer. Right? Up in B and D, 1 into 5 into 3 is 15. And here 2 into 3 into 4 is 24. So obviously option D is your correct answer. Right? So these are the small tricks. These are the small tricks over here. D is the answer without even solving it. But in exam, we have to solve it. So how do you solve this question? Let me show you. Okay. Now, before I show the solution, beta, as you all know, exams are near. So if you are facing like you need some guidance, you need some uh, proper attention, all of you can join Vedantu's course. Very good part over here. Okay. The teachers, your favorite master teachers, they are going to teach you and uh, doubt solving, test, assignments, everything will be given. So that is like one stop solution for all. Got it? So it's a good deal. All of you who are willing to join can join the course. The link is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as it is the pinned comment in the comment section. The only thing where I can help you is if you will apply this coupon code GPE Pro, this will give you 20% off. In whatever price it is showing, it will give you 20% off. Okay? Huh. So now coming back to our question. By the three numbers we have given, so I will take the three numbers as A minus D, A and A plus D. Right? I have told you when I was teaching you arithmetic progression, I have told you that in these kind of questions, when a sum of some numbers in an AP is given and some other relationship is given, you how do you assume the number? So this is how we are going to assume it. Now sum is 9. So A minus D plus A plus A plus D is equal to 9. D and minus plus D got cancelled. So 3A is equal to 9. That means A is equal to 3. So I got to know my numbers are 3 minus D, 3 and 3 plus D. Now we have 3 minus D into 3 into 3 plus D is equal to 24. Shift this 3 in division. So 3 minus D into 3 plus D, 24 by 3 is equal to 8. A minus B into A plus B is A square minus B square. So 3 square minus D square is equal to 8. 3 square is 9 minus D square is equal to 8. Shift 8 over here, D square over there. So you'll get D square is 9 minus 8, which is equal to 1. So D will be equal to plus minus 1. D can be plus 1 also. D can be minus 1 also. So now first take the value of A as 3 and D as 1. Then the values of A minus D, A and A plus D. 3 minus 1 is 2. 3, 3 plus 1 is 4. And if I took, take A as 3, D as minus 1. So... 3 minus 1, 3 minus of minus 1 is 3 plus 1 which is 4, 3, 3 plus minus 1 is equal to 2. So 2, 3, 4 or 4, 3, 2. Answer remains same. So the numbers are 2, 3 and 4. Got it? Correct? Eh? So option D will be your correct answer. Let's go for the next one. Achha, before I move ahead, it is very important in your exam to write both the answers. It is very important in your examination to write both the answer, you will get two values for D. If D square is equal to 1, D will be plus 1 or minus 1. Got it? D will be plus 1 or minus 1. Palak beta, if you will solve it na, for some time, practice these kind of questions, you will start learning it. Okay, you will get to, you will get a hang of it. Got it? So please make sure you don't make any mistake at this step. Otherwise, you might lose half mark or one mark. Got it? Okay, chalo. let's go for the next question. The next question coming to your way. Achha, before that, let's look at the leaderboard. <coughs> so we have, who do we have? After this question, we have Piyush, Dev, Feruda, Vivek, Vedan, Bansari, Jeeves, Rudraksh, Deadpool and Rishabh. Okay, let's go for the next question. The next question coming to your way. Question number nine is this. In this given figure, AB is parallel to DE, then the length of CD. What will be length of CD? Very easy question. Use similarity of triangles. Use similarity of triangles. Be quick. Yeah. 
use similarity of triangles one important information is given that is ab is parallel to de beta uh, who is that uh, for code current beta current the code is written at the top 704208 3 2 1 and the time is up so we have got the correct answer from very good 2.7 is your correct answer how do you solve this question understand by see in this question we know ab is parallel to de okay so if ab is parallel to de directly i am writing this angle and this angle angle b and angle d will be equal angle a and angle e will be equal because of interior alternate angles so i can say sir in triangle abc and triangle edc abc edc we can say angle a is equal to angle e angle b is equal to angle d so by a a criteria triangle abc is similar to triangle edc and once we got to know they are similar the sides must be proportional so i can say ab upon de is equal to bc upon cd ab is 5 de is 3 cbc is 4.5 and cd we need to find out so we will get cd is equal to 4.5 into 3 by 5 if i cancel this this is 5 ones are this 5 0.9 times 0.9 into 3 is 3 2.7 cd is equal to 2.7 cm right option b will be your correct answer okay option b will be your correct answer so first we have used the similarity of triangles and then we have told that the sides of two similar triangles are proportional no no durodhara it is not bpt it is not bpt it is similarity of triangles okay theek hai chalo let's go for the next question now अब देखो अच्छा द कोड बेटा देखो करंट द कोड इज एट द टॉप 704208 ओके चलो लेट्स गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 10 कमिंग टू योर बे इज दिस लेट्स सी व्हाट द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग अस ड्यूरिंग द कन्वर्जन ऑफ अ सॉलिड फ्रॉम वन शेप टू अनदर द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द न्यू शेप विल बी द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द न्यू शेप विल increase decrease remain unaltered or will be doubled be quick thank you so much bachcho for liking the video thank you so much to all those students who have liked this video thank you so much so the time is up we have got the correct answer very good option c is your correct answer why it is correct answer beta because as you all know when we convert one solid shape to another the main thing which happens in this part is that whatever amount of material was present in a solid shape the same amount of material will be inside that suppose i have a metallic ball if i convert that into a metallic cube the amount of metal remains same right so surface area may change but volume will remain same volume is going to remain same so option c will be your correct answer and this is the basis for solving all those questions for conversion of solids this is the basis of solving all the questions of conversion of solids okay so option c is your correct answer got it let's go for the leaderboard now so after this question who do we have in the leaderboard we have <clears throat> Piyush, Feluda, Vivek, Dev, Vedant, Deadpool, Bansari, Arush, Ayushi, and Ujjaini. Arush is the first student to give the correct answer. Very good. Let's go for your next question. Question number eleven, coming to your way, is this: Which of the following cannot be determined graphically? Which of the following you cannot find out graphically? Mean, median, mode, or none of these? बेटा द कोड इज सेवन जीरो फोर टू जीरो एट स्टूडियो टीम प्लीज सेंड द कोड फॉर मेंटी इन द चैट बॉक्स 
सेवन जीरो फोर टू जीरो एट थैंक यू सिजुगा बेटा बी क्वेट थ्री टू वन एंड टाइम इज ओवर सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए इज योर करेक्ट आंसर अब देखो भाई मोड हाउ डू यू फाइंड आउट ग्राफिकली अब एक बात बताओ इफ आई गिव यू एनी वन डेटा You will be अब देखो you can draw the bar graph for any data. We can draw bar graph. So if we draw the bar graph, we can clearly see what will be the mode. And through the histogram also, we have learned how do we find out the mode. Yes. So mode we can find out graphically. Yes, sir. Median using ogives, we can find out the middle value also, right? When we draw the ogives, with that we can draw the we can find out the median as well. Yes, sir. But mean is sum of observation divided by number of observations. It is average. Of average, we don't know how to find out graphically. So option A will be your correct answer, right? Let's go for the next question. The next question coming to your way is this. The question number twelve is this. Let's see. Where the question is, Mrs. Asha Mehta deposits rupees two fifty per month for one year in a bank's recurring deposit account. If the rate of simple interest is eight percentage per annum, interest earned by her on this account, principal amount is given, rate of rate percentage is also given, and the time is also given. Number of months you can find out very easily. Find out the interest. I am asking you only the interest. Be quick. beta durodra you will get to know the schedule every day don't worry yes palak this is not in cbsc true this recurring deposit account is not in cbsc be quick quick last 10 seconds 6 5 4 3 2 and the time is over so we have got the correct answer from option c that is 130 rupees 130 so it is a direct formula question beta direct formula question theek hai principal amount is rupees 250 number of months one year that means 12 months okay rate percentage is 8 percentage correct we need to find out the interest so interest will be equal to we know the formula for the interest right p into n into n plus 1 by 2 into r by 100 into 1 by 12 right so 250 into n 12 into 13 by 2 into 8 by 100 into 1 by 12. 12 to 12 got cancelled. 2 ones are 2 fours are and 25. Uh, this is 10 times 25. This is 4 times 4 to 4 got cancelled. Okay, so we are left with 13 into 10, which is equal to 130. So option C will be your correct answer. Option C is your correct answer. Got it? Let's go for the next question. the next question coming to your way and this is the last question let's see who will be the winner after this question question number 14 coming to your way is no sorry this is question number 13 coming to your way is this the roots of the equation x square minus 3x minus 10 equal to 0 are what are the roots of this equation let me know quickly be quick be quick be quick 
सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन एंड द टाइम इज ओवर ओके सो वी हैव गॉट द करेक्ट आंसर दैट इज योर ऑप्शन बी वेरी गुड सिंपल क्वारिटिक इक्वेशन वी वॉन्ट टू नंबर सच दैट देर एडिशन इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री एंड देर मल्टीप्लीकेशन इज ए इंटू सी वन इंटू माइनस टेन इज माइनस टेन राइट सो टू नंबर ऑब्वियसली बाई आई कैन सी सर द नंबर आर गोइंग टू बी माइनस फाइव एंड टू माइनस फाइव एंड टू इट विल बिकम एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री एक्स माइनस टेन इक्वल टू जीरो आई विल राइट एज एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव एक्स प्लस टू एक्स माइनस टेन इक्वल टू जीरो सो टेक एक्स कॉमन एक्स माइनस फाइव प्लस टू कॉमन एक्स माइनस फाइव इक्वल टू जीरो सो हियर यू हैव एक्स माइनस फाइव इन टू एक्स प्लस टू इक्वल टू जीरो सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन से एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव और एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू सो ऑप्शन बी विल बी योर करेक्ट आंसर गोरेक्ट ओके ऑप्शन बी इज योर करेक्ट आंसर राइट ओके लेट्स गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओके The next question, question number fourteen, coming to your way, is this. Let's see. The last question is this. If A is a diagonal matrix of order two, then A square, then A square will be what it will be. A is a diagonal matrix of order two. Thank you, Vita. Thank you. Again, this is not for CBSC students. Yes, yeah, that is what I'm saying. This is also not for CBSC students. Be quick. <clears throat> so the time is up we have got the correct answer as a wait diagonal matrix it should be instead of diagonal matrix it should be uh unit matrix na instead of diagonal matrix it should be a unit matrix because diagonal matrix can be any value diagonal matrix can have any value in diagonal element it can be any value hmm. actually there is something wrong with this question there is a small change in this question instead of the diagonal matrix instead of Uh, writing diagonal matrix, we should write the question should be a unit matrix instead of diagonal matrix. The question should be a unit matrix because in case of diagonal matrix, suppose if we'll take because I'll tell you the difference. But in diagonal matrix, the diagonal element will be anything. Okay, let's say it is x, it is y, this is zero, it is zero. This is a diagonal matrix multiplied with x. 0 0 y if we multiply them so it will be the product will be equal to listen carefully see first column with first first row with first column x into x is x square 0 into 0 is 0 then first row with second column so x into 0 is 0 plus 0 into y is 0 then second column sec first second row first column 0 into x is 0 y into 0 is 0 second row second column 0 into 0 is 0 y into y is y square right This is what is happening. So all the diagonal elements has been squared. Okay. So with the diagonal matrix it will not work. But if it is a unit matrix, so if I multiply one zero zero one with one zero zero one, if we multiply these two, then the answer will be same. Then the answer will remain same. So there is some mistake with this question. It should be a unit matrix, not a diagonal matrix. it should be a unit matrix not the diagonal matrix so i have to uh, join the answer will be option a if 
the question is it is if a if a is a unit matrix of order 2 but since it is given as a diagonal matrix i would say that the question will be considered wrong got it you are getting in my point see they have solved it using the unit matrix so if you are solving it using unit matrix in diagonal matrix diagonal elements can be anything got it but uh, i would i i hope i could have changed the answer uh, with something else but i cannot do that in menti post the quiz so happens here out of 14 questions one question might be wrong so really sorry for that so like, i'll show you the leaderboard but before that let me tell you one thing by as i have told you link for the for joining vedantus pro subscription is in the description box as well as it will be a pinned comment in the comment section apply this code for 20 percentage off okay these will be your prizes for one month and three months as you know this course will be inclusive of all the subjects maths physics chemistry biology sst english and that too you can attend as many classes as you want so if you want you can cover your syllabus even in one month also if you study religiously got it so it's all up to you those you think can afford this course you are more than welcome to join us at vedanto pro subscription okay beta chalo ab let me show you the final part okay final part for this is this i am really sorry once again for the final mess up which happened over there the final question it was all messy i do understand that okay so we have our winner for today's quiz is dev khatri so i hope beta once again apologize for the last question it had some problem okay so uh, i hope next class will make sure that it won't happen again okay chalo <coughs> theek hai chalo thank you so much bachcho and congratulations today very well done then i can see deadpool and vedantu also is there very good yeah vedant sorry vedant deadpool and vedantu are at second and third place respectively so very good very well done to all of you nicely played okay so this is all beta in this class thank you so much for coming to the session and i'll see you soon in the next class till then bye bye sayonara khuda hafiz to all of you bye bye